Welcome to the video demo series for Configure IT. Unleash the hassle-free way to build bug-free mobile apps in the quickest possible turnaround time. In this video, we're going to discuss how to use external APIs. And this is pretty important as you uh, develop uh, your apps, as it gives you a lot of flexibility in the type of apps that you can use, because if you can use external APIs, you can pretty much create anything that you want. Now, today, we're going to be using uh, an open API uh, by NASA. Um, this API is to show pictures of the three rovers that are on the planet Mars. I think it's pretty cool. So this is what the API uh, addresses right here. And this is the return in a JSON format. And this is what we're gonna be using today to um, for this example. We're gonna take some of this data. We're not gonna take all of it, but we'll take some of it and we'll show you how to store it in the database and how to call that and show it in your mobile front end. So we'll go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and create uh, the API. And the way we do that is we go ahead and create, click on add new, and we're going to go ahead and name it, and we're going to name it uh, Rover uh, Photos. We'll go ahead and assign it to a category, in this case just miscellaneous, and we'll go ahead and define our input parameters. If you look at the uh, URL, you'll see that there's actually three input parameters for this URL. The first one is this one right here where it says Curiosity. Curiosity is the name of the rover, and as we know, there's three rovers. So we can actually uh, use this as a URL parameter so that we can actually choose photos from different uh, rovers. The next parameter is the earth date. Now this URL can also use uh, souls, which is a, a solar date, but in this case we're going to use the earth date. The next one is we have our API key. So we'll go ahead and go back to our input parameters and we'll go ahead and define those. So the first one is we're going to define is rover name, and then we'll add another one, and this will be earth date, and then the last one is the API key click on next. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and click on API connector. And this is going to open up our external API connector and we're going to do a custom API connector. The next thing we'll do is just go, go ahead and copy over the URL. And as you can see, we don't want to use the entire URL. We just want to use the base URL. So we're going to go ahead and delete all of this up to the question mark. Anything after the question mark is uh, what's considered a query parameter. And so we're going to use that down here. So the first uh, query parameter is earth date. And we'll go ahead and sign, assign that to the earth date. And you can see here it gives us the value right here. Now the next one we'll add is the API key. And we'll go ahead and select that parameter right here. Now the other thing that we have to do is what's called the URL parameter. And you see here Curiosity, like I explained, is actually part of the URL. It is not a, um, a query parameter. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this just to make sure we get our formatting correct. And we're going to paste over Curiosity. And we're going to come over here and delete Earth Date. And we're going to name it Rover Name. So now uh, it will take our input parameter of rover name as part of the URL, and then these uh, the earth date and the API key will be part of the query parameters um, that will append after the question mark. Okay, so now that we have our input parameters, we'll go ahead and hit save and next. Uh, and now we can uh, go ahead and define what fields are returned, the output parameters, when uh, we have a successful uh, API call. To pull those parameters, we'll go ahead and put some data in. So for the rover name, we're going to, one of the rovers is Curiosity. The other rovers you could try are Opportunity or Spirit. So those are the three uh, rovers that are existing on Mars, two of which are still functioning, which I think is pretty cool. Um, Earth date, um, this API requires it to be in a year date, or I'm sorry, year month date format. So we'll go ahead and do 2016, um, September 1st. And then the API key, we'll go ahead and just uh, paste that in. We'll hit configure. Okay, so at this point, if you wanted all the fields, you could just uh, click and drag them over and you would be able to get all of the fields. But that's not what we want. 
we want to go ahead and select uh, certain fields. So the first field we want to select is we'll go ahead and take the sol date, which is the solar the solar day. Uh, the camera name, uh, which is under camera full name, we want to take the image source, which is the URL of the actual photo. We want to take the Earth date, and we want to take the rover name, uh, which would be under rover and then the name. And that's it. We'll go ahead and hit save. And now we uh, select our um, our parameters for on failure. So we'll go ahead and hit uh, configure, um, and we get our errors, and we'll just drop those over. Hit save and we have our external API already configured. So now what we want to do is insert uh, the results of this API into our uh, into our tables. But first, what we need to do is create a table. So let, we'll come over here and we'll add a new table. And we're going to name this uh, Rover Picture. And we'll assign it a category. Five fields will be fine. We'll click Add. And now we're going to add uh, the five fields. So the first field is camera name. Um, the second field we'll create is uh, the soul, which is going to be an integer um, because it's just a number. The third field we're going to create is the image source. So we'll do um, image source. Then we'll create the Earth date. So Earth date. And we're going to change that to just a date, not date time. Um, and then the, the last field is the rover name. OK, we'll hit save and close. Now we have our table. And as you can see, there's no records. So now that we have our table created, we want to go ahead and add the queries to go ahead and insert uh, the results of our external API into our uh, MySQL database. But before we do that, we need to go ahead and add some additional uh, conditional checking uh, before the external API. Because what will happen is as the user um, calls the API, if they call the API on the same rover and the same date multiple times, we'll end up with duplicate records in our database, which is, as we all know, is, is no bueno. So yeah, so what we want to do is add uh, some checking before our external API. So the way we do that is go ahead and click on the external API and insert before. And what we want to do is insert a query before. And in this query, we're going to check um, check for pictures is what we're going to call uh, this API. And we're going to go ahead and check uh, the rover picture table. And maximum records is one. It's fine. Go ahead and click next. And then uh, we'll go ahead and um, click um, image source, save and next. And basically what we're going to do at this point is check the uh, rover name and the earth date to see if those records already exist so and then we'll assign them rover name and earth date and basically what this is going to do is this is going to check to see if there's any existing records um, that have the that same rover name and that same earth date so now we'll go ahead and hit save uh, we'll move this down create a, a little bit more room and now we're going to add a conditional um, check right after this query. And basically what this uh, is going to check is if any pictures exist already. Um, so we'll just say picture exists. And we're going to say flow. And we're going to choose uh, check pictures. And if it's a success, then we're going to skip the external API. Uh, which basically means that it has found some pictures with that um, with that rover and with that date. Um, and so therefore it would be a success. And we're gonna go ahead and... So basically what we wanna do is delete this connector because as you can see right now, it's saying if it finds pictures uh, that already exist in our database, go ahead and call the external API, which is not what we want. We wanna go ahead and click over here and say if it doesn't find any pictures, go ahead 
and call our external API. So now that our API is checking to make sure that we're not going to put any duplicate records in, um, we need to go ahead and finish the API so that it can actually insert all of the records found from our external API. But before we do that, we need to make sure that the external API is actually returning uh, results. So to do that, we're going to insert an, an additional condition statement. And this condition statement is basically going to check to make sure that the external API, so we're going to change it to flow external API equals success, that it's come back as a success with no errors. And we'll go ahead and arrange that. And so now, um, if it does come back as a success, so we're going to insert to the right an additional query. And this query is going to be our insert query. Okay, so query type, we're going to do insert, main table, we're going to go down to rover picture, and uh, we're going to do a batch insert as it's going to be returning back multiple items, so we want to just insert them all as a batch. We'll go ahead and click next. Then we'll go ahead and select the fields of the table that we want to insert, and then um, in, uh, assign all of our external API values. So camera name we know is full name. The Sol is Sol. Image source is going to be image source. Earth date is Earth date. And rover name is going to just be name. Okay. Um, so and then we'll name this uh, insert uh, pictures and click save. So now that we have our insert uh, query done, we want to go ahead and return the values back to um, uh, back to the front end so that it can actually display the picture. So to do that, we're going to do another query. We're going to Okay, and then this one is um, we're going to call it uh, return pictures. And main table again is going to be rover picture. Uh, we want all of the records. We'll click next. And then we'll just go ahead and select all of the fields. Go ahead and click OK. So it's going to return all of these fields. Okay. Next thing we need to do is assign it the parameters of the earth date and the rover name. Because remember, as we're going through, as we use it multiple times, um, it's downloading and saving those records. So if it, uh, if it already detects them, it doesn't need to do that API call and it'll just pull it from the uh, MySQL database. So for earth date, we want to assign the input parameter earth date and rover name. We want to go ahead and assign it rover name. We'll hit save. Now we just need to uh, add a finish block insert after finish and we're not going to do the check pictures we actually want uh, this one down here where we're going to return all of the pictures um, okay and we'll do success click save okay move this down arrange it I'm kind of a neat freak so I kind of like it all neat we'll hit save and yes, we know that it's not uh, completed yet. Now, um, if the external API has failed, we need to provide um, the left side. So we'll do insert left and we're just going to finish it. And we're going to change this to finish, not success, but failure. And we're going to um, return this error code. Um, that the external API returns. And we're going to change this to uh, a bad request. Success, change to zero, and failure. Okay. Now, um, as you can see up here, we still have to close off this pictures exist. Um, and the way we're going to do that is because we're going to skip over all of this. We're just going to come over here to the right here. Um, not move it but I want the very tip there and we're going to skip everything and we're going to just go down to the return pictures so if the pictures already exist we'll skip everything and we'll just provide uh, the the output uh, that the user is looking for 
Okay, click Save Settings, and now we can test our API. We'll hit um, uh, hit the refresh screen and hit Execute. So as you can see, it's pulling all of our information. So it it pulled the information uh, from the external API, inserted it all in. Uh, to the MySQL database and we can actually take a view here. So here's the MySQL database. We'll refresh it and now you can see all the data again. So you can see there's uh, 25 records. Now what we can also take a look at is make sure that um, we're not going to duplicate any of our existing records by go ahead and executing it again. So it still returned the data as it should so we'll close that and we'll make sure that we should still have 25 records, which we do. Now, if we want to go ahead and test it again to make sure that we're getting additional records, let's put in a, a new date. Let's say uh, 2015, June 3rd, for example. We'll go ahead and hit, and hit execute again. So it's given us additional records and you can see here that the uh, records are from June 3rd and we'll take a, uh, another look on our table if we refresh it again we can see that there's now 29 records so there was four additional records um, from that date so our API is working beautifully all we need to do now is just design the front end and we'll do that in another video for more information, visit our Help Center or stay connected via the Support Ticket Portal or live chat where our support team will assist you. Keep configuring.